So welcome back to the cockpit of the Mustang M22. And as you can see, uh, yeah, mixed day today. There's some clouds, some blue sky, a little bit of everything here in New Mexico. Anyway, our focus is gonna be on the cockpit, on the instruments. And basically, uh, since I've decided to go experimental, there's really no need to hold on to anything because one of the first things that's gonna go is the engine monitoring stuff. I don't wanna mess with this. It's not worth wasting my time. Uh, we'll get a primary, a GI-275 or JPI-900, or whatever is available to experimental. So I'll have to check on the rules for that. And we're just gonna start taking stuff out. Um, I'm not gonna get into the wires exactly, but it'd be interesting, I think, to pull a lot of this stuff out and then weigh it and see how much this old electronic stuff weighs. So I've already undone the, uh, the screw for the ADF, which you can see here. Um, it works, so there's nothing wrong with it. And, but this plane is probably not gonna be flown internationally. Um, so we don't really need the ADF. I know ADF is used still in some countries, um, but I don't think we, we're gonna need it but it's fully functioning. If somebody's interested in this, reach out to me. I'll give you a good deal. Maybe uh, I'll donate it when we hit uh, 10,000 subscribers. We're at 6,500 right now. So we'll set that aside. So that's a, oh, just so you can see the tag. It's a King Radio KR86 ADF. And Sierra and Lauren can't see it very well, but. But anyway, all right, so we got that out. It's pretty heavy. I'd say it's a couple of pounds. All right, what else can we remove? Well, I'm gonna leave the second radio because that's the one that works, but I'll definitely pull the first one out. So let's, let's pull that first one radio out. And as I said again, I'm grounding this airplane until we have stuff that works. Uh, all right, no, not working. I need to go the different way. Oh, just need some help. It's been in here for 60 years probably, maybe, maybe longer. All right, let's try. So I don't want to break anything unnecessarily, so. I might have to grab, oh, there we go. Came out super easy. Oh, look at the size of this. And this is very heavy. Oh, I'm thinking five, maybe more pounds. Holy crap. Imagine the weight of this on the front four of the wings. I'll have to definitely do a new weight and balance. I can barely hold it up. This is so heavy. Wow. So this one has issues. It's radio one. I'll have to mark it. But it's an old, uh, you know, the other one works. But this thing is massive. All right, so I think we're at seven pounds right now. You know what? Let's just get everything out. Let's go crazy. I enjoy this part because I feel confident that I can do this part. I'm less confident about putting things together, but tearing them apart, sure. All right. Oh, yeah, here's another one. I mean, we're talking 15 pounds of radios. This one's been serviced, obviously, at some point back in 87, but it's been working since then, and it worked uh, pretty well the other day. So, second King radio. KX-170B, Navcom. All right, so that's two Navcoms out. And wow, those were heavy. Uh, could be a flathead. Let me see if I have a flathead that small. I don't think so. So we'll disconnect this. I think it works, but we're not gonna bother with it. It's not working in my airplane, that's for sure.
And if you want any of this stuff, just reach out to me to give you a really good deal or even donate. Donate? Why can't I speak English anymore? Or den donate to your cause, whatever that may be. We'll leave these in here, all this for now. All of it's relatively easy to remove. We can remove the autopilot. Oh, we can also remove the audio panel because I'm going to be replacing that as well. There we go. Oh, look at that. No cover, no casing. Just a good old circuit board and it's, it's working. I wonder if it was original to the airplane in 68. I don't see any dates on here. KMA 20. 2.3 pounds. This little thing. Actually, since it's written on the back of this, how much weight there is, is it written on the back of one of these radios? What the weight is. Oh. Seven pounds each. So that's 14. So it'll be extremely important to redo the weight and balance because 25 pounds coming out of here. We'll have to see what new equipment weighs. And I haven't even taken out the R30A, the air nav, because it doesn't want to. What else can I remove? Well, the autopilot for sure. All right, let's not lose too many of these screws in the same way. Oh, maybe I didn't need to uh, unscrew that. Let's see. Yep. Oh, interesting. Because it's not letting me pull it out and I don't want to break it. Well, maybe it's already been manhandled. We don't say woman handled, and there's a reason for that. So I'm not doing it right, like an avionics shop would do, but I don't think we're, we're ever going to use this. And what you can see here is some vacuum lines that are coming to the unit. And I think these go to the DG, but I'm not sure. So interesting stuff. Can this be disconnected without breaking it? 1980, this autopilot was installed. Autopilot controller, Britain Industries. What year did I say? BI-70, 700 model. One and a half pounds. Okay, so always more than I'm thinking. Function test, February 1980. So what they originally have out of the factory, maybe they didn't. So who's keeping track of the weight? Sorry for the interruption, but uh, let's get back to taking this airplane. So I got the RMI out, something that people don't use, and I don't think it was properly connected anyway, because the back uh, connector felt loose. All right, not easy getting in here. That's one of the things I admire about avionics shop is how they have to reach in there. Here's a quick view. More stuff. So this is really heavy. Look how long it is. This is the transponder and the autopilot. So let's keep going. So today my goal is to be productive and get ahead of the avionics. Now there's Certain things I'm not going to touch, which have to do with um, engines. I mean, I guess I could undo them, but uh, this was to the transponder. There's just a nest of wires in here. And uh, let's 
going to be interesting to see how much of this we can pull out. This whole section here looks like uh, we could easily pull it out from, from these outside screws. Because when we redo the avionics, the idea is to keep a central console, right? And then redo this side. And I like the way this is shaped, which kind of angled towards the pilot. And uh, with this, we'll keep that layout, center console, where we'll put maybe a 750 or whatever we want here. All right, let's go on to the next one. Let's keep going. I'm on a roll. So what does it look like back there? Well, let's find out. Uh, basically quite an area, a nest of things, and this is next over here. I mean, we're going to be able to save a lot of weight here on the front of this airplane. So good thing there's a very heavy engine on the front, otherwise we might have some weight and balance issues. All right, enough for today.